box. Ready to go. We be fast and they be slow. All right, everyone. This is Tim the Big Blue. We'll bring you the best in New York Giants sports talk entertainment. We got breaking training camp news here on Monday. Well, you know what? The breaking training camp news is probably not the right term to use. Dane Belton evidently uh, has broken or fractured his collarbone. The, the information coming out of camp right now is he did it sometime last week. Uh, and it looks like he is going to be out until the beginning of the season. They said there is an opportunity for him to return to the fold or, or a return from this injury before the start of the season. So uh, we're going to be curious and interested to follow that story. Dane had been getting some first team reps over the last couple, uh, the last couple first days under the wink attacks defense. Um, of course, he got kids to stand out from Iowa later on, excuse me, Later on draft choice. I, I mean, he. I'm not going to say he was counted on to fill that position over at the strong safety position alongside the free safety of uh, Xavier McKinney, but he was going to be in the mix. He would probably was going to play. He is a guy that was probably going to be thought about, especially in regards to playing special teams. Um, you still have Andrew Adams, who I believe it will start the season if healthy. You still got Jaron Williams, who's also nursing a little bit of an injury as well. So, you know what? It, it's going to be interesting. You hope to, you know, this was a kid that I think more of the fan base counted on coming in and starting for the Giants than probably the coaching staff did. Because if that was the case, they wouldn't have gone out and signed Andrew Adams. Plain and simple. They wouldn't have gotten, they wouldn't have went out and got a vet. To, to help fill the role. So, um, but you know what? It, it is a loss to the team. It's it's going to be interesting to see who's going to step up next. Next, excuse me, Yusef Corker. Um, but you never know. We have to kind of just wait and see. Wanted to do a brief, um, I don't know what I want to call it. I want to do a brief uh, interlude, I guess, about Daniel Jones. Um, evidently, they, you know, we, not evidently, we put the pads on today. Time for some hitting. We put the pads on today. And they focused mainly, I guess, the offense on running the ball, uh, worked a lot on that. But they did do some passing. And the unofficial, I think, stat for Daniel Jones, like five of 12. Um, uninspiring is the word that, ke- that came across in reference to what the defense looked like. And yes, the, uh, excuse, excuse me, the offense looked like. And yes, the defense is always ahead of the offense early on. But you want to see some hope. You want to see some highlights. You want to see something good. There was a, I believe there was a touchdown to Wandale Robinson at one point in time as well. Uh, but, but the key factor and the key phrase was that the offense was not where some people thought it would be. And, and that's all we, that's basically going to fall on the shoulders of Daniel Jones. You can love him. You can hate him, but you need to be honest about it. He, he's the straw that stirs the drink. He's the guy that takes the snap from the center. We're going to get into center a minute too, because evidently Feliciano was out for the third day. Um, and if he's if he's not grasping what needs to be done, and yes, it is early, like Dable said, it is early. But you know what? You can't keep what it, it, you kind of just reach that point where you can't always keep making an excuse. It's early. It's only been three practices. It's only been one padded practice. It's only been five padded practice. It's only been a preseason game. When do you start as an evaluator? Maybe they're doing this already. When do you start as an evaluator, look at Daniel Jones and say, you know what? Maybe possibly we should give someone else some first team reps. When does that, when does that happen for this coaching staff? Because you know what? You're not married to this guy. You are, you are not, you are not attached to the hip of Daniel Jones. Neither Shane nor Dable is because of the fact that if you think about it, this is not their guy. They didn't draft him. They didn't bring him in. They haven't coached him for three years. And you just get concerning because then I saw like an article on Yahoo. And the article on Yahoo was, what can the Giants do to make Daniel Jones improve? It's been three years. The question should have been, you know what the question should have been after three years going into season four? How can we put the finishing touches on Daniel Jones? How can we polish Daniel Jones up? No, it's how they can help him improve to be a better quarterback. It's been three years, and we haven't really seen outside of a couple games here and there that that moment where you got like a six. And I've said this before about Daniel Jones. You have one good game, great. You have two good games, that's even better. You put together six, seven good games in a row, then I'm starting to be a believer. But if you have a good game, an okay game, a bad game, an okay game, a bad game, a bad game, an okay game, I, I, I'm not inspired. I'm not sitting there and say it's time to ring in the OG QB. I'm not sitting there saying we got to bring in Tyrod right now. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that at all, but I'm just saying, when does that window open that the coaching staff looks at the situation and says, maybe we do have to get Tyrod a couple snaps and first team snaps. Maybe we do have to give Davis Webb a couple first team snaps. 
maybe we've come to that point, not only just to get them familiar and fresh with the first team offense, but maybe push Daniel Jones a little bit. John Feliciano, I mentioned Graham was out for a third day. Uh, the Shane Lemieux experiment still goes on. Kayvon Thibodeau is looking like he's got that first step. Evidently, he had a first step burst that went crazy around Andrew Thomas and chased uh, Daniel Jones out of the pocket. It's it's going to be interesting, guys. It's going to be interesting. We got to monitor the Dane Belton situation. We have to take a look to see what's going on with Daniel Jones. But when push comes to shove, we kind of just have to wait and see what happens. Getting text messages left and right here. I wait and see what happens. Because we got, the, you know what, that August, I believe it's August 11th day, that preseason game is coming up quick. So we need to figure some stuff out. You know what I laughed though? I do have to laugh. I got, I got to point one thing out. People thought I was crazy a month ago when I said the Giants should run the wishbone. I also said maybe the Giants should run the Wildcat. What happened today? Giants in Wildcat formation. And then they switched to a standard formation and went off tackle with the Saquon Barkley for a big game. Not saying anything. Just <laughs> not saying anything. I'm just saying, you know what? So mix it up. Have some fun with it and kind of go from there. You see the 800 number on the bottom of the screen scrolling around? If you want, you call that number. It takes you to the online Big Blue hotline. Leave a message or a question, and I will play it on uh, one of the shows that are coming up in the next couple of weeks. So just call that 800 number on the bottom, leave that message, and kind of go from there. And again, this is Tim with the online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk entertainment. And as always, if you could like, you subscribe. If you ring that button, you know what I mean? That'd be awesome.